Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Star. I'm a 35 year old mom who likes to play in makeup. And today we're gonna do part two of my declutter. This is everything that I have decluttered so far. And we went through all of my little organizers like this and the stuff that I keep on my shelf and all of like my project pan stuff. So now what we're gonna do is get into all of my drawers. So, so far I have a total of two, four, Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen shades that I have decluttered. That's really, really good. And now we're gonna get into like the rest of these. So most of this stuff is um, glosses, and then there's some liquid lipsticks in here. Oh, hang on a minute. Okay, sorry about that. Um. Most of these are lip glosses, and there's some liquid lipsticks in here. Now, I have this Fenty Beauty in the shade Uncuffed. I'm keeping this one. Also, if you watched one of my other videos, I have the, the coral shade in this, too. I was wearing it. It's up there on my um, vanity, and I forgot to get it. But I'm keeping both of these. I love these. All right. These are all glosses that my kids got me for Christmas. So, I got rid of the few that I knew I wasn't going to wear, but I'm going to get rid of some more. Um, like, I know I'm not going to wear glosses and all of these dark purples, so I'm going to get rid of these two. Um, probably not going to wear glosses in those two colors, so I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to keep this one, this one, um, that one. And this one. And I'm going to get rid of the other ones. These I decluttered once already. And I don't know why I pulled them back out. Because I still haven't used them. These are the Melt. Oh, what were they called? The Molten Metal Lip Glosses. They're like metallic. I'm not going to wear that color. Not even for a YouTube video. Not even for Halloween. I keep saying I am. And I'm not. Trance. I've had these, I think, going on two years now. And I've literally put, I think, one on one time. Never going to wear that color. Got to get rid of it. The shade Seance. I think this is the only one I've, I've wore. And it's pretty, but guys, I'm not a metallic like lipstick, lip gloss person. This is the shade Deviant. This one's really pretty. If I kept one, I think I might keep that one. But... I just know me. I'm not going to I'm not going to wear it. And the shade 1942. So we're decluttering all of these. They are super pretty. Um maybe I can give them to one of my friends who has a daughter if they want them to like play in or something, but otherwise they're just going to I just, I shouldn't have bought that. I just I shouldn't have bought it. It's another one of the reasons why like I'm doing this and I went on a low buy is just all this stuff I shouldn't have bought. All right, this is a Rowan Beauty lip gloss in the shade Charlie. I think I got this in a boxy charm. I like this. Um, it's very like light and just gives you a hint of color. So I'm gonna keep that one. And then this shade Neon Carnival by Anastasia. Guys, I don't know. I keep it because look at how pretty that color is. But am I gonna wear that in a gloss? Like, am I going to wear that in a gloss? Seriously. If I put something like that on my lips, it's going to be a liquid lipstick. I got this at TJ Maxx. It's just another reason I should not buy, oops, stuff at TJ Maxx and stuff because I don't wear it. Um, ooh, I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of it. Guys, I told you I was going to be cutthroat and so I'm getting rid of it. All right, now all of these, I think, I already know. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep the amber and the brass shades from the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. The shade, um, Caught You from Wet n Wild. Let me sniff this one. I don't think I've had this that long. Oh, it, oh wait, no, it doesn't smell good. And look at that color. What was I thinking? It's like a concealer. I could just put a concealer on my lips. I'm going to get rid of that one. The shade Hey. It's a Lux Lip Oil. I like the lip oils. Um, so I'm going to keep that. The shade Peach Daiquiri from Buxom. I'm going to keep this So Juicy Lip Gloss in the shade She's Here. I think this is the only like 
so juicy one. These are really, really sticky. Um, I'm going to keep it for now. This shade by Pat McGrath, Bronze Astral. I don't know that I've ever used this. It's pretty. I'm going to keep it. And this liquid cat suit in the shade Send Nudes. This one doesn't smell bad. Okay, so I'm going to keep that one. All right. Ugh, I hate wiping off glosses, guys. It feels so... Some of them are sticky. Like, I know I should probably get rid of that So Juicy gloss, but I like the color. And these are all the glosses that I have. These three right here. I don't have any more than those. Oops. Um, all right, so these are all the, let's see, these are glosses. I'm going to keep these. I like these colors. Um, I'm going to keep this one. I like this color. I'm going to keep the Tinkerbell ones. I like those. These are, these are the glossy lip stain. Are they the stains? Yeah, the glossy lip stains. I like those. I have videos where I used those and swatched them. Oh, sorry that my foot was, I had to move. Oh, I'm sitting on the floor. Oh, and now I'm getting so old, it's hard to move. All right, um, the Luxe Lip Oil in the shade Smirk, I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep the Fenty Glow, the Gloss Balm. Um, I'm going to keep this lip oil, this Luxe Velvet in the shade Ingenue. This is old. And guys, this is from Revlon. I keep it every year because look at that color. It's stunning. But it smells, and I know I've had this for over over five years at this point. So, that one's going to go because I never use it. And I have the shade Living For It. I'm going to keep that and the shade Slurp. I'm going to keep that. Because, um, like I said, I don't have too many glosses. And, to be honest, I don't wear tons of glosses either. So, it's, like, not really hard for me to get rid of those. All right. Now... I have these done by colors. All right, so let's go ahead and start with this one because I have all of like my red and my unique colors in here. And a lot of my unique colors are from Jeffree Star. Um, that's just how it is. Let's see, let's go through the reds first. I have the shade Elson 2. That's pretty. Um, it's my only like actual lipstick. So in red, so I'm going to keep that. Um, I have the shade Red Rum and Unicorn Blood and the shade Anna Nicole. This is more like an orangey red. I'm going to keep that one. I know I like that one. I'm going to keep the shade Unicorn Blood because it's a deeper reddish shade and it's unique to my collection. The shade Red Rum is just like a, like a normal red shade. So... I have the shade Candy Apple. It's a Melted Matte from Too Faced. Oh, it still smells so good. That's what that one looks like right there. The shade Candy Cane. Looks like that. I'm going to keep that one. I really like that one. The Lime Crime shade in the shade New Americana. Oh, that looks different than all the rest. I thought I was going to get rid of that one, but that's a brighter red. Let me see with these other two. This is Lady Balls. This is my absolute favorite red shade of all time. I can't get rid of that. And the shade, oh, this is a corally shade. Ooh, that's so pretty. I need to pull, yeah, I need to pull that out and use it. Um, I'm not getting rid of any of those. Guys, to be honest, I mean, I don't have... A lot of reds. I have those and then like the Morphe and the Jaclyn Hill ones. That's like literally all I have in red and I don't think that that's too many but considering I don't wear them that often do I need. See this is the thing. I don't wear red lips except pretty much during December. I'm not a red person. So I don't know. I got to think about those. These all, I'm just, I'm going to keep. I'm not even going to, like, bother swatching them or everything. I don't have colors like this, and I actually have used these for Halloween looks and stuff. So, I'm keeping all of those. I'm going to come back to the reds, guys, though, because I just, I don't, I don't use them. 
All right, so here's like all of my orangey, what I consider like orangey tone lips. So let me just go ahead and pull all of these out. And while I love an orange lip in the summer and fall, I just, I don't think I need this many. Um, let's start with the shade Miami Fever from Ofra. This is old. Um, it smells bad. I like the color. I like the formula, but it's old. So I got to get rid of that. The shade Gingerbread Girl, I am keeping. I love this shade for the fall. So I'm going to keep that one. The shade Sweet and Sassy. Um, is this the one with the formula I don't like, or is it this one? Old Flame. Um, I think it's the Sweet and Sassy one. All right, yeah, I'm keeping Old Flame, and I'm gonna get rid of the Sweet and Sassy. Honestly, um, I don't like the formula, and the color just never looks amazing on me. So, I don't like getting rid of my Dose of Color stuff because um, their liquid lipstick formula is one of my favorites, but I don't wear that color, and honestly, the formula on that one wasn't as good as the rest. So, all right, I have the shade... Fuel from Urban Decay. I think this came out with one of their Naked collections. Um, I like that color. I'm going to keep it. The shade Booty. Oh my god, This my middle son thinks this is the most hilarious lipstick color. He always asks, where's Booty? So I'm going to keep that just because it makes him happy to come in here and find it. Um, the shade Wyoming Ice Tea is a unique color. I'm going to keep that. Like I said, all of these were gifted to me. Libra Lynn. And I could not show you guys these, but I have them in my collection. So, this shade, oh my god, that's so pretty. I really want to put that on. Um, oh, hang on. I got to, I got to move again, guys. I'm sorry. Being old, it's just, it's hard. Okay, this is the shade Spice For Me oh, by Maybelline. I love the Maybelline um, lipsticks. These are the, it doesn't say, it just says it's the color sensational. Uh, but they have different, um, like, types. But I like, I like that one. Um, they have them in all different packaging. They have like nudes and stuff like this. This is Play Your Luck from Jeffree Star. A very interesting color. I'm going to keep that one. The shade Coyote Ugly from ColourPop. I'm going to keep that shade. Not doing so well on the oranges, guys. I didn't think I would. This is the shade Vel Verde Valley. Um... I can get rid of that one. I'm not going to use that one. I'll get rid of that one. The shade Pumpkin Rose from Fenty. My kid got in this one. The color is unique. Um, I'm going to keep... No. Nah. I mean, look at how bad that looks. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just trash this one. Ooh, can I have it? No, Gabriel and Hush. Um, this is the shade Tiger Teeny. I like this shade. I'm keeping this one. And that's what that looks like. And, yeah, my kids got into both of those. This is Coral Rise. Yeah. Um, hang on just a second, guys. Okay, sorry about that. My kid came in here. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this shade. I don't think I'm gonna wear this color in this type of formula. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. This Lime Crime plushy shade. Um, it's pretty. It's sheer and I like that about it. So I'm going to keep that one. And this shade by KKW in Hot Sauce. Oh my gosh guys. This is so pretty. And it goes on the lips. And actually stays a pretty good amount of time for it being a um, lipstick. Alright. So these are all like my berries and pinks and purples and stuff like that. So, let me go ahead and pull all of these out. And I had had all of these um, done by brand. And then I decided to just do them by color instead. Um, and it has worked out better for me that way. So, I'm glad I did that. Alright. So, let's start with the ColourPop shades. I have the shade Heart On. 
I like that color. I have the shade New Rules. I like that color. I'm going to try to be a little more. This is the shade Baywatch. I think I think I'm going to get rid of that shade. Yeah. Um Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the shade Baywatch, but I'm going to keep these two. All right, and because my ColourPop stuff's getting older. The, this is the shade Plucked. Uh, all of these, I think, are from the Plush Like Me collection. Um, so they're fairly new. Um, and then I have the shade Call Waiting. Um... Honestly, I think I'm more likely to wear the shade Call Waiting than this shade called Plucked. It's just, it's dark. And while I like a dark lip, I just, they're similar enough. I really don't need to keep both. So, I'm going to get rid of the shade Plucked. And I'm going to keep that one. This is the shade Party Goer in the Maybelline Superstay. Yeah, I'm going to keep that shade. I like that shade. This shade is called Allison. It's from Lime Crime. It is a more unique shade to my collection. It's cool toned. So I'm going to keep that one. I have the shade Pink 6 from KKW. I'm going to keep that shade. I really liked her lipstick formula. Um, I keep hoping she's going to like come back with... Um, this is a Givenchy lipstick in the shade Framvoose Velours. I love this color. I love wearing that in the fall. Keep that. This is the shade Hidden Heels. Why is this in here? It doesn't look pink at all. It looks gray. Um, I'm going to put this with my unique colors because it's like a gray color. And I might actually use that for something another time. Where did I put? Oh, right here. Um, this is the shade ZZ. It's a cream lipstick. I like that color. I probably need to get rid of these sooner than later because they've done reformulated. This is the shade After Dark. Um, I have a lot of similar shades, but I still like Urban Decay's formula in that. This is a Rouge Pour Pure Couture. I think it's from YSL. This is the one. Try. I think this was like a Zoe Kravitz. I'm going to keep that. And I just love the packaging. I'm not getting rid of, like, my luxury. This is a Pat McGrath in the shade Deep Orchid. I like this one, too. I'm going to keep that. This Nabla shade. I really like this. So, I'm going to keep that one. This Morphe in the shade Play Games. Hmm. That's a brighter one. The only other bright one that I had, and it's different. Uh, let me keep. Let's see. This is the shade Rosebud. This is starting to smell. I love this color, but I've had this forever. I need to. I need to repurchase my dose of colors, but I'm gonna get rid of that one. Uh, the shade Talk is Chic. That doesn't smell too bad, and it looks like that, so I'm going to keep that one. You know what? I am going to go ahead and get rid of this Call Waiting Blur Lipstick because I'm probably going to wear liquid lipsticks in this formula, and I have other shades that I like better, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Um, this Pat McGrath in the shade Executive Realness. I like that shade, so... Um, the shade in Superstay, where is, oh, it's on the bottom, um, Creator. I don't have a lot of, like, purple purples, so I'm going to keep that. Actually, I want to wear that this summer. Jeffree Star in the shade Blow Pony. It's a unique color for when I'm doing a look, oh, oh, no, no. I've had this for a while. I think this is, I think this is going bad, guys. But it's like the only, 
It doesn't smell terrible. Let me let me smell one of the other Jeffree Stars that's not as old. It has a little bit more of a smell. And it's not going on that great. Oh, I really don't want to get rid of this because it's a unique color. But I actually never wear this. I'm going to get rid of it because it smells. What did I say? If something smelled, I was going to get rid of it. If I thought it was old, I think that's literally one of the first. And that one I think I did buy. I think I've had that for a while. I probably should have waited and did these berry colors last because look at my hand. All right. The last three I have, um, I think this is, one of these are Bury Me and the other one's Bury Me too. I don't remember. Oh, that doesn't smell all that great either. All right, this is Bury Me too. This one doesn't smell as bad. I got this later. All right, so I'm gonna keep Bury Me too, but I gotta get rid of Bury Me. It smells. And this is the shade Trinity by Lime Crime. That one still smells fun. And I'm going to keep that because it's a unique color. Guys, I did. I did well. I'm like kind of upset at the ones I had to get rid of. Like this one. Because I just know I'm not going to repurchase it again. Because I don't buy from him. And I like the formula. And I like the color. So, if you guys know um, of another color like this from a different brand, let me know. Uh, Alright. So, these are... I think these are like pinks and these are nudes. I'm going to go through these first before I go through the, because I got a whole nother drawer, just the liquid lipsticks. So we're going to just do lipsticks right now. Um, these are new. This is the shade Peony from Milani. I'm keeping that. The shade Secret from Milani. I'm keeping that. I like literally just got these not too long ago. The shade Flesh 5 from Pat McGrath. I'm keeping. I'm not going to get rid of any of them. Pat McGrath stuff. Alright, these are all the, like I said, from the Plush Like Me collection. This is Gen X. I love that shade. The shade Cryin. Oh, that one came out. See, this is the thing about, like, ColourPop's lipsticks. Oh, but that's such a pretty color. Mm, and the shade Matte AF. I'm going to keep all three of those. I have the shade Planting Roses. This is a pretty color. I'm going to keep that one. Alright. All of these color pops I need to go through and smell. This is the shade Lumiere. Oh, I know this is old. Mm. I mean, I like the color, but it's old. Get rid of it, star. The shade Bound. Am I actually going to wear that color? I don't know. Let me think about that one. I'm going to put that in a maybe. The shade Topanga. I've worn this a little bit, but... Mm. The shade Cami. This is a Matte X. And the shade Peppermint. All right, I'm going to keep Peppermint. I am going to keep the shade Bound. I'm going to keep the shade Cami, but I'm going to get rid of this Topanga shade. Because I just, I don't, I don't need it. I have the shade Soft Core from Pat McGrath. Going to keep that. Um, how long have I been filming? The shade Daring Blush. Oh, I love this shade. This is from L'Oreal. And it's a beautiful color. It really does look a lot like that ColourPop lippy stick. Um, how do you get this back on? Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. which shade was it that it looked like? Oh, it looks like the one I got 
No, I didn't get rid of that one. Which shade was it? Yeah. Um, it looks a lot like the shade. Let's put them together to see. Oh, no, they're completely different. Never mind. Okay, so I'm going to keep that one. The more mauve color, what is this? The Ultimate Color Sensational from Maybelline. I, I want to get more of these. I like that. Oh, but that looks super similar to that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that Cami shade. Nope, that's not Cami. This Cami. I'm going to get rid of that shade because I got that new color sensational and that one's a little older. So this is the shade Flush Punch. And it looks like that. I love that shade that, like I said, is a color sensational lipstick. This is the shade Touch of Spice. Guys, I don't like this. I got rid of this shade before and then I brought it back. I don't know why, but I'm finally, it's finally time to let this go. It's, I've had it forever. It doesn't smell, but I just, I'm going to get rid of it. All right. And guys, I think I'm going to finish out this one and then I'm going to end the video. And I guess I'll have to do a third part. That is Morphe Lip Crayon in the shade what? FOMO. Um, I'm going to keep for now the shade Enchanting. Like I said, I love the KKW formula, so I'm going to keep that one. The shade Firebird. It's a cream. Guys, this is such a cool color, so I'm going to keep that. The shade Backtalk. I'm going to keep that. I love that color. The Pat McGrath in the shade. I got Omi. Looks like that. I'm going to keep that. I'm keeping the shade Fembot. I love that color. And these, I've, I've used up a couple of those, so I know I can use them up. This is the shade Whipped Caviar. Oh, I love this color. Yeah, it's a good nude color. So I'm going to keep that one by NYX. This is a Dior and Rising Star Best Lipstick ever it is so can you see the shine in that oh my god it's so pretty it reminds me of the jazzy by dose of colors gloss but those two would be pretty together this is a tom ford little mini in indian rose you know what i'm just gonna i'm just gonna get rid of that i don't i'm not gonna use that up i mean i don't like like, I'm never going to have a Tom Ford lipstick, but I'm also never going to use that one up. This is the shade Thick from Fenty. I like that shade. And this is the shade Baddest Beige. Best neutral ever. And it looks like that. All right, so I'm keeping that. So, real quick, let me total up the ones all together so far. And two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty. 42, 44, 46 lipsticks I've gotten rid of so far. So please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you didn't. Either way, it helps me know what you guys want to see. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join the Starlight family. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I do a declutter like this. And remember guys, makeup is just for fun. It's not meant to be judgmental. I will see you in my part three of my lip declutter. Bye.